Hey everyone, today I'm going to be explaining why Central Avenue in Albany, New York floods a lot. I was out there making some flood films during the tropical storm about a month ago. So here I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. On the day this thing flooded, the road was impassable between these two markers right here and right here. This road right here Yardborough Ave was completely unaccessible, so anybody who lives on this dead end street right here was kind of stuck in there. And you look on the end where the dead end is, it looks like there might be a small dirt road, but it looks pretty rough further down. You would need an off road vehicle to even pass that and get to this next neighborhood over here. So we're just going to go ahead and forget about that. It was all just blocked. Right back here, a bunch of these businesses were completely flooded out. This place here, the Fire Sprinkler Company, their entire parking lot was flooded. You could even see it going over the warehouse doors. Certainly, this entire car lot here had water in it. A few cars were stranded beneath this bridge. And it's all because, I'm going to go over to the map, this tiny little stream right here was backing up. I originally thought the culvert pipe here was just clogged up, but it turned out not to be true. Since the water was going over the road, but it wasn't leaving, something downstream was causing a major issue. So we go ahead, look downstream. And we have right here what you call a retention pond. The purpose of a retention pond is to hold a large amount of storm water during a heavy rain event. And when the rain's over, it will slowly release it. So let's go ahead and get a good look at this system here. Back over to satellite. Get a better angle of this pond. And reservoir, whatever you want to call it, retention pond, retention reservoir. You can see there's a really old dam here. And it's so overgrown. Look at the dirt road leading to the building. It looks like the maintenance is horrible. They never even go out there. I bet the dam doesn't even work hold its purpose anymore. But the main issue that I'm seeing with this retention pond is this giant sandbar delta originally... This pond would have gone all the way up to right here. But over the years of neglect, it has filled in with so much silt, it's not even one-third of its original size. It just cannot fill up anymore with rainwater. It's full of just dirt. Because a man-made pond, any man-made reservoir, no matter how big it is, it's eventually going to fill in with sediment. A giant reservoir being supplied by a small stream will take a long time. A small reservoir like this, with a moderate amount of water, that's what happens. There's a pond near my house. It's probably 20 square acres. And they have to dig it out every 25 years or it would just turn into a marsh like what you're seeing here. Now, you're wondering, where does all that sand come from? Well, you look upstream to where the issues are. All the sediment from the Highway 90 here gets washed in there. All the storm drains in Albany in the fall season, all those millions and millions of leaves are being washed down storm drains, along with gravel, random rocks, lawn clippings, sand in the winter. It all gets washed down the storm drains into that little stream, and it all ends up at the retention pond. And it just collects here in the form of a sandbar. This sandbar, the part you're seeing right here, which is just sandy, is the most recent part. Parts of it that have been there for years, you can see have growth. Small thickets, water plants, and even a giant tree growing out right there. Just shows all the neglect. And you can see the service road going to the dam. It's full of these big potholes and stuff. They're not taking care. Look at that thing. You would need a real tough vehicle to handle all that. 
It's a really bad maintenance road right there. But let's take a look what's going on even further past the retention pond. Right here, it continues down. And what you're not seeing on the map, there are a ton of culverts before it eventually reaches the Hudson River. Back to the retention pond. So, basically, the retention pond just cannot handle the massive amount of water because two-thirds of its capacity are filled in with silt. Right here, where you're seeing all that open water, chances are it's not as deep as it once was. It's got to be dug out. So, Central Avenue floods because the retention pond is already full of garbage. If that was to be dug out, that would probably eliminate most of the problem. And also, this dam is so old, it doesn't look like anybody really goes there. What it's supposed to be doing is, there's always supposed to be a little bit of water in a retention pond. But on a dry day, they're supposed to release most of it. A retention pond is basically made to be almost empty. And during a big rain event, the reservoir fills up. So, downstream from this dam doesn't flood out. But, in reality, if you're thinking about that, it backs up. But once it backs up and floods the road, it's going over this dam at full speed anyways. I have no idea if it's causing problems downstream. It might be. But it's certainly causing tons of property damage upstream. I don't even know if the mechanics on this thing would work anymore. It looks just about abandoned. Look at it, it's overgrown. It looks like half of the spillway is overgrown with plants, probably vines going across those beams. Can we get a better view of this side? It looks like there's a little trail going to it. Looks like a service vehicle hasn't been there in years. Yeah, just look at that. It's all overgrown. Nope, that's just a billboard. Following this dirt road, goes right here. It's buried beneath the tree line here in the woods. And it comes out right here, exactly where the flood was. I was standing right on that sidewalk when this entire street had about three feet of water underneath the underpass. It was so deep. This right here, the entrance of that service road, there was a sign saying no trespassing, private property, stuff like that, water management area. Here's a picture of it. You can even see the little stream right here. It's kind of small. I think the culvert there was undersized, but that wasn't what caused the flood because it should have gone right off into the woods it should have just crossed over the top of the road without an issue. But it built up because of what was going on downstream. Also, this area of the world is not meant to have a tropical storm. It's not designed their water management system for that large amount of water. But if you look at other people's YouTube videos, every single time... There's a moderate rainstorm. This same flood happens. And you would think over the years they would try to figure out why. This pond has got to be dug out. It's got to have its full capacity. Because the flood I saw there flooding that road. That three feet of water ponding there. That would have easily fit here if all the sand was removed. And this dam, like, just look at the day here. Why is it so full? A retention pond is supposed to be basically empty. If you think this is interesting, check out my video of the Knightville Dam. That is a gigantic retention reservoir. Absolutely huge. It hasn't been filled up completely since the 1980s, but it's there just in case they need to stop a bunch of storm surge from flooding out people downstream of the Westfield River. The place is absolutely huge. It's open to the public, so you can walk around and check it out. It's got a picnic area. 
I will leave that link in the description. That place, you can tell the maintenance is really good. That was built by the Army Corps of Engineers. This is not being maintained. Thanks for watching.